Hey everybody, and welcome back to FSI DFS. I'm McKinley 412, and today we're looking at this uh, Monday main slate. Eight games, but it could get dwindled down. We do have a couple of games that are uh, going to have some rain threats to them. Uh, Max Scherzer, he's your ace pitcher of the slate. However, he is in one of these rain games. So pitching could get really ugly really quick. I mean, it's already kind of an ugly pitching slate outside of him. Um, you got Urias and Lauer kind of also headlining it, but they're also going up against two. They're going up against each other in great offenses. So uh, we're going to have to really not get too excited about her pitchers and just kind of like focus a lot on the bats, I feel. Um, if the Scherzer game doesn't get rained out, I don't think there's going to be any issue, you know, finding any salary um, to fit in those top tier bats. Even with Scherzer in, I think there's enough value out there where, you know, there's a one, two, maybe even three guys who are in your mid price or at mid price. Uh, who can really open up your lineups for sure. So here's kind of the rankings where I put um, the blue is the rain threat games. of Scherzer, Syndergaard, Orizzi, Sessa, and Contreras, and Herman uh, are kind of in the three big rain games that I have to be paying attention to. Uh, so let's just kind of dive right into the pitchers. Scherzer, I already talked about it. He's your top tier uh, pitcher on the slate. Even though he's going up against the Yankees, he's still your top pitcher on the slate. Uh, 11.3 price tag is very scary, uh, but still, I mean, Given the rest of that you're able to choose from, um, I think especially in cash, he's going to be your uh, SP1. Uh, but again, please check the rain on this game. Urias and Lauer uh, going up against each other. Urias, he did face uh, Milwaukee last time out, and he did very well against them. Uh, five innings pitch, no earned runs, six Ks. Solid. Uh, 23 DK points. You're kind of looking for like that 25, the mid-20s range when you're hitting that 10K uh, mark. Can he hit it for sure? Am I super excited about, you know, playing Urias against Milwaukee? Not really. Um, but, I mean, it is kind of what it is. Lauer, not really too much interest in him. The guy I do have more interest above both of those guys is going to be Cabrera uh, for Miami going up against Oakland. Woeful Oakland and their uh, offense. Cabrera, he's got solid strikeout stuff. Uh, he's been on a nice little roll here. Three straight starts with no earned runs against the walk. And the command rate can be a little scary. Um, but it, guys get on base quite a bit here. But still, 8.8K going up against Oakland with high strikeout stuff. I think he's probably one of the better pitchers on the entire slate in terms of, you know, value and upside. So Cabrera, especially if Scherzer's out, I think Cabrera could be your top option on the slate today. Going into this mid-tier, uh, it's kind of a lot of guys who are kind of all mixed with each other. Uh, if you want to throw Montgomery above... Uh, Springs, if you want to throw Gray above Montgomery, um, who knows? Like, you can kind of mix and match. I put Syndergaard at the bottom just because he has like the biggest rain threat of the entire game, of the entire slate. Uh, he's going up against Cincinnati. I mean, weak lineup. Um, Philly's ballpark's a little bit small, obviously. So he's kind of down there, but he's super cheap, but it's mainly for the rain. Springs, uh, I have him going up at the top. He gets the Angels. He's the cheapest one of these guys at 7.7K. He's got the strikeout potential. I mean, he's got the upside, I think. Um, I mean, similar to all, all these guys, if not better. Um, but lefty going up against the Angels, we know how much the Angels strike out. Mike Trout is back. It's kind of a little concerning. Um, but again, it's it's, uh, it's Otani, it's Trout, and then nobody else. We've seen the, I mean, if you're on Twitter, I guarantee you've seen it. It's like Tungsten Armo Doyle uh, back in 1939. Uh, Otani is just breaking all these records and you know he goes four for five with three home runs and Trout does the same thing and then the Yankees or the Angels still lose uh, to the Tigers I mean it's it just happens they're the only two guys out there so Springs he can have a solid matchup um, or is going to have a solid matchup going up to the Angels with some strikeout stuff Springs he's my tier guy in that mid-tier Montgomery he's on St. Louis once again just reminding people reminding myself essentially uh, but back-to-back -back starts with eight strikeouts, Milwaukee and Colorado, you know, not elite offenses, but, you know, not too shabby either. Um, but if Montgomery can, you know, go 100 pitches like he did here, go six, maybe even seven innings, get seven strikeouts, Chicago Cubs, they strike out a lot. So, I mean, he's certainly lying. He's certainly capable of doing it. So, Montgomery, love him as well. And then Sonny Gray, we know is upside. Uh, but we also know he has a little bit of a floor issue as well. He's a big boomer bus guy going up against Texas, 8.5K. So, again, I mean, I just kind of mentioned how I kind of like all these guys. Uh, so if you want to throw them up in any other different order, totally fine with it. Uh, but that's just kind of how things stood with me. 
Odorizzi is the only guy that I pay attention to below that. And even that, not really too interested in. Uh, he just doesn't strike many guys out. Going up against Pittsburgh, I know uh, they just don't do anything as an offense. Uh, which is kind of why he's in play, but still, outside of that, it's a rain game. He doesn't strike out guys. Uh, he's just going up against the weak offenses. Uh, everybody else, I just have zero interest in. Uh, they're just guys who don't strike out at all uh, or just have no interest in in general. Going up towards the bats, um, St. Louis, they're going to be the top stack on the entire slate for me. Going up against Drew Smiley, uh, big spy ball guy. So this uh, Yankees, or the, why do I keep saying Yankees? The St. Louis lineup can certainly do things um, here today. Smiley is a lefty. St. Louis, full of right-handed bats and just fantastic bats. Paul Goldschmidt, he's probably going to be in your lineup. Um, 6.2K, but he's got some of the best numbers against left-handed pitching in the entire major leagues. Uh, if you don't want to go Goldschmidt, if you don't have the salary, because maybe you want to go two top guys, maybe you go Scherzer and Cabrera. Uh, Albert Pujols is raking at the moment, and he's still only 2K. I think he's so – I think DK is just kind of like secretly keeping him at 2K uh, just because Goldschmidt's obviously the preferred option, and they just, like, jammed his price up, and they're like, yeah, you can go Pujols at min price, but it means that you got to fade uh, Paul Goldschmidt. So I think it's DK playing a little game with us. Uh, but you can see if you throw in Scherzer and Cabrera, Pujols at 2K, he opens things up with 4K remaining for the rest of your bats. Uh, just – you really can't go wrong with any of the St. Louis guys, uh, to be completely honest. Uh, Arenado, O'Neal, Carlson, Young. I mean, you really can't go wrong with anybody. Throw as many St. Louis guys in your lineup as you want um, and whoever you want. I think you'll be just fine. So even uh, with a decent healthy stack, you got 3.4K remaining. But trying to fit those other top guys with Goldschmidt in there, it's – not impossible. Uh, there's another, you know, mid price value play that I have some interest in tonight, uh, but it's going to be kind of difficult. So uh, St. Louis, they're going to be your top stack on the day going up against uh, Smiley. Philadelphia, Minnesota, they're the other two. I feel like these three uh, kind of get lumped together and that's kind of like a gap and then the Dodgers. Uh, but St. Louis, Philadelphia, and Minnesota, they're like the top tier um, plays for me today. St. Louis just talked about them. Philadelphia, this is a big rain game. I think this is the worst rain threat game of them all, so do pay attention to that. Uh, but Philadelphia is going up against Sessa. Not a great pitcher in general, but he's not going to go super far. He's not stretched out or anything. Um, so, I mean, he might only go, like, 40 pitches. Um, so, after he gets out of the game, already not a great pitcher, they get the Cincinnati bullpen. Cincinnati bullpen is arguably the worst bullpen in all of baseball. Um, so you can go with any of these guys. Alec Baum, he just had uh, back-to-back home runs on Sunday. We love that here at FSI because we scored Alec Baum at third base. So we did well. Um, Castellanos, Hoskins, Real Muto, Schwarber. Just throw in anybody. It's kind of like St. Louis. Uh, I don't really think you can go wrong with many of the Philadelphia bats as long as you just have Philadelphia bats in there. And then Minnesota on the other side, Cole Reagans. Going up against Cole Reagans. He's he's. A uh, top prospect guy, uh, but he's really been struggling in the majors so far. So I don't know what's going on. Maybe he just like can't figure it out. Um, maybe the, the big lights are getting to him or whatnot. But I mean, the talent is inside there, uh, but it's just hasn't been shown yet. So I do have a lot of interest in Minnesota and they're uh, big right handed bats. Uh, Gary Sanchez, 3.1K. He can be a nice salary relief for you there. Jose Miranda, 3.9K. Minnesota's just cheap. They're just cheap, no doubt about it. I mean, you got Buxton at 5.9K, even Cray at 5K, I guess. Uh, but still, the rest of the guys are pretty cheap uh, overall. So St. Louis, Minnesota, Philadelphia, those are my top tier uh, three stacks on the slate today. And, you know, not too much issues with the salary. TPP, uh, it's going to be the Mets uh, going up against Herman. Herman just, I don't know, he, the strikeout stuff has not been there so far this season. So don't have a whole lot of interest in him. Uh, and the Mets... Excuse me. Uh, the Mets, they're just one of the best teams in baseball against right-handed pitching. We've talked about it on this video uh, many times before. Uh, but the Mets, best team in baseball against right-handed pitching so far this season. Against the guy who just can't strike out uh, players, I'm going to go with the Mets as my top uh, GPP stack. It is a rain game, so please check out the rain with that. I feel like I'm just going to be saying that all uh, video long, but it is a rain game. Pay attention for that. Atlanta. Going up against Contreras, Atlanta's just an elite offense for sure. Um, you just can't deny it. They're an elite offense, one of the best uh, offenses in baseball as of late. Uh, so they're cruising, love Atlanta. But I guess one other team that I'll just talk about here, just because I got to get going here, uh, is Miami. Miami, super cheap, super affordable, going up against Aller. 
uh, for Oakland. Aller, just every analytic just says, save this guy. Do not play this pitcher. Um, so now he's going up against Miami. Not a scary offense by any means, um, but it's still an offense. <laughs> They're still major leaguers, uh, so they can certainly knock Aller around for sure. Um, and you can see they are just super, super affordable all the way down. Um, the one min price guy that I was talking about, JJ Bode, um, 2K, he can really open up your lineup as well. He's going to be hitting in the heart of the order. I think he's got a nice uh, lefty. I think he's a lefty, right? Yeah, lefty ready matchup. Um, he's going to have some ser- serious interest in him. Uh, if you want so a one off to kind of open up those St. Louis bats, those Philadelphia bats, and get in some of those top uh, tier pitchers as well. So that's kind of the slate. Uh, it's pretty gross uh, pitching wise. And then you add in three ring games and it gets even worse. Uh, but hopefully this kind of guides you in the right direction of, you know, where we're headed, um, places we're interested. Uh, Goldschmidt, he's going to be your top bat on the day. But if you can't fit him in, Albert Pujols at mid-price uh, certainly opens things up as well. So hopefully that has helped you out. Uh, as always, good luck in your contest. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.